there's really two, two important benefits when using a physical identity access management system. The first one is that it allows you to do a lot of automation of access control related processes. Without a PIM, there's a lot of manual labor intensive work involved in managing a physical access control system. When a new employee starts, you have to enter the information of that person in the system. You have to assign access rights to them. When a person wants to travel to another part of the country and have access to another location, a change request needs to be filed. Someone needs to go into the system, add access rights, and then there's a risk of those access rights never be revoked. A physical identity access management automates all of these processes. So really the entire life cycle of a person in the organization, whether it's an employee, a visitor that only passes by once or a contractor that uh, will be working for you for a couple of months, each part of that life cycle, the onboarding changes, changes in the role, changes in access they need, traveling, and then the offboarding, all of these processes are completely automated through PIM. So if a new person starts next Monday, the PIM system will receive that information from, in this example, it could be Workday, an HR system. It receives that information. It will automatically create a record for that person in the physical access control system and assign the correct rights. If that person in a month from now would travel to, for example, London for a week, that person could, through a very simple self-service portal, request access to the London facility from that date till that date. And in the background, one or more approval flows could be kicked off, asking people to approve that access. And then automatically, these access rights will be added to the person's badge for that period of time. So first advantage, automating a lot of these processes, taking away human error, human error prone, processes that you have today. The second advantage or benefit of using a PIM system is the ability to move away from statically defining access to dynamically assigning access. And the best way to explain that is by means of an example. Today, let's say that you have an IT department of 10 people. If you want to assign access rights to the data center for those people, you would go into the physical access control system and name by name, assign the access rights to the data center. So it's manual and you assign it person by person. With a, when you sort of use a PIM, you can do that in a very different way. And that way is referred to as attribute based access control. It's a term that has been inherited from the cybersecurity space. In cybersecurity, identity and access management systems have evolved tremendously over the last two decades. Initially, attribute uh, or access control was done in a very similar way as physical access control systems. In each application, you would statically assign who has access to this application, what can they do within that application. Over the last two decades, we first saw a move to role-based access control and then more recently to attribute-based access control. And what attribute-based access control allows you to do is instead of statically saying that person has access to that particular, in this case, location, you're going to put in policies. And if we go back to our data center example, a policy in this one could be people that are part of the IT department that have an active employment status and that have gone through these three IT trainings, they have access to the data center. By defining this policy once, you've literally said, if you, if you sort of meet those objectives, these attributes, then you have access to the data center and you no longer have to assign that person by person. So if tomorrow a new person starts in IT, they're an IT person, they have an active employment status, and they've completed those three trainings, then automatically access will be assigned to those people. The other way around, if the employment status would change or a certain training would expire and they don't renew it, then automatically that access will be revoked using the PIM layer. That makes access control much more sort of robust and it's a much more dynamic way of managing the risk related to access control. So if we summarize, 
PIAM has two main benefits. The first one is automate a lot of access control related processes, such as the return in investment and you take away the potential for human errors. And secondly, it allows you to move from static access control to dynamic access control, leveraging the attribute-based access control capabilities that come with a PIM platform.